Welcome to Exams Daily and this video is for today's current affairs, September 2nd current affairs. And the first news is called India to invest over rupees 1.22 lakhs crore and 500 projects by 2023 to 2024. And this project is to develop a coal evacuation infrastructure, project development, exploration and clean coal technologies in the country. And its main aim is to make India self-reliant in terms of coal and to achieve the production target of 1 billion tons by 2023 to 2024. And this Coal India has also identified 15 greenfield projects which will be operated under the mine developer and operator MDO model. And more about this Coal India, CEO is Anil Kumar Jha and headquarters is at Kolkata. And the next news is India, Japan, Australia to launch resilient supply chain initiative in the Indo-Pacific region. Japan and Australia agreed to launch a trilateral supply chain resilience initiative which is SCIR in the Indo-Pacific region and, in, and this initiative will help in building a resilient supply chain with focus on free transparent trade and investment environment in the region. And the ministers who are, are participated in this virtual meeting comprises India's Minister of Commerce and Industry Piyush Goyal and Japan's Minister of Economy, Trade and Industry Kajiyama Hiroshi and Australia's Minister for Trade, Tourism and Investment Senator Simon Bring, Bringingham. And on behalf of this uh, India Pas Indo Pacific region launch, uh, supply chain launch, these ministers participate in virtual meeting. And the next news is Odisha CM launches two citizen centric apps on local self government day. And the Chief Minister of Odisha, Navin Patnaik, has launched these two citizen centric mobile applications named Ama Sahar and Swach Sahar Odisha. And this occasion of local self-government day which was observed at Lok Seva Bhavan. And this app's main reason is to enable the urban local bodies to submit the utilization certificates over online for the better of fiscal management. And more about Odisha, capital is Bhuvaneshwar and governor is Ganeshi Lal and chief minister of Odisha is Navin Patnayak. And the next news is Karnataka CM flags of RORO train service between Bangalore and Solapur. Karnataka's Chief Minister B.S. Edurappa flagged off this RRO train which is between Bangalore and Solapur via video conferencing. And this train will take 17 hours to reach the final destination and the distance is 682 kilometers. And this RRO service combination is best for road and rail transports in the sense of door-to-door -door service with minimal handling transported by fat and direct rail link. And more about this, and it is the first train will transport 42 loaded trucks on open flat wagons. And more about Karnataka, capital is Bangalore and governor is Vajubai Wala and chief minister is B.S. Edu Rappa. And this RRO train uh, flag of the Minister of Divisional Railway Engineer DRM of Bangalore, Ashok Kumar Verma has also participated. And the next news is Indian economy contracted by 23.9% in Q1 of 2020-2021. GDP, Gross Domestic Product estimates first quarter year. First quarter April to June Q1 of 2022-21 was released by National Statistical Office and Ministry of Statistics and Program. And NSSO has released the GDP estimated both constant and current prices. And GDP is abbreviated as Gross Pro Domestic Product. And India, uh, in this, uh, according to GDP, India is the world's fifth largest economy by nominal GDP and the third largest by purchasing power parity. European Investment Bank to invest 650 million in Kanpur's first city metro line. European Investment Bank EIB will invest this 650 million euro in construction of Kanpur's which is in Uttar Pradesh. It is the first city metro line and the 32.4 kilometer arbor 
line with 18 elevated and 12 underground stations in EIB's second biggest operation outside the European Union till date. And it is a second metro rail project which is supported by EIB European Investment Bank in Uttar Pradesh. So, one more about European uh, EIB is abbreviated as European Investment Bank and it is uh, located in Kanpur, which is in Uttar Pradesh, and it is the first city metro line. And more about EIB European Investment Bank, President is Werner Heyer and headquarters is at Luxembourg. And the next news is Ministry of Defence signs rupees. 2580 crores of contracts to boost make in india ministry of defense signed contracts with uh, make for the boost of make in india and this contracts were signed for supply of six pinaka regiments to the indian army and this pinaka regiment consists of three batteries of six pinaka launchers and each of which is capable of launching 12 rockets with a range of 40 km in a space of 44 seconds. And this contract was signed with Tata Power Company, Bharat Earth Movers Limited and Larsen and Taubro. And this Pinaka multiple launch rocket system was designed and developed by DRDO. And it is a flagship project that showcases public-private partnership enabling Atmanirbhar Bharat Abhiyan. And the next news is Indian Railways develops Medbot to deliver food medicines to COVID-19 patients. During Corona crisis, for providing transport facilities and essential items like food grains to people, Indian Railways have, pro have provided with facilities for COVID-19 patients. They developed a remote control medical trolley named Medbot to help deliver foods and medicine to COVID-19 patients patients and the services providing in central hospital of the diesel rail engine factory of Indian Railways. And more about this and this is for to deliver food and medicines to COVID-19 patients and more about Indian Railways headquarters is at New Delhi and it is founded on 16th April 1853 which is in India. And the next news is Heyman Katari became new CMG of Hindustan Shipyard Limited. Uh, Heyman, Heyman Katari, uh, he is a retired man and now he is appointed as Chairman and Managing Director of State-Owned Defence Shipbuilder Hindustan Shipyard Limited HSL which is at Vishakapatnam, Andhra Pradesh and he will replace Rear Admiral L.V. Sarath Babu and previously Heyman Katari was uh, serving as a Director and Strategic Projects at HSL um, Hindustan Shipyard Limited. And more about Hindustan Shipyard Limited, it is established on 22nd June 1941 and headquarters is at Vishakapatnam, Andhra Pradesh. And the next news is Rajiv Kumar takes over as election commissioner. Former uh, bureaucrat Raj Kumar now assumed charges as new election commissioner and he takes place vacated by Ashok Lavasa who joins as Asian Development Bank as vice president. He, and he retired in February 2020 as Finance Secretary in Government of India and later on he served as Chairman of Public Enterprises Selection Board. And Rajiv Kumar, a retired 1984 batch IAS officer of Jack and Grade and will have 5 year tenure and retire in 2025. And his previous offices, uh, he is Finance Secretary of India to 2019 to 2020 and now he becoming election commissioner of India since 2020. So next news is CBDT chairman Pramod Chandra Modi gets six month extension as central board of direct taxes chairman and his appointment committee and cabinet approved his extension and reappointment as chairman and he will uh, be the next six months as chairman for CBDT. And CBDT is headed by chairman and have maximum of six members. It frames policies for income tax department. So CBT, CBDT's main uh, role is they are, they are framing policies for income tax department. So Central Board of Direct Taxes which is abbreviated as CBDT and it is a statutory authority functioning under Central Board of Revenue Act 1963. And more about CBDT, it is established in 1924 and headquarters is at New Delhi. And next news, Avik Sarkar elected as new chairman of Press Trust of India. 
and he is elected as chairman of the press trust of india he replaces vijay kumar chopra who is chief editor of editor of punjab kesari group of newspapers and avik sarkar is the vice cha vice chairman of ananda bazar groups of publications he is also founding and managing director of penguin india and more about press trust of india limited it is commonly known as pti is the largest news agency in india in headquarters is at new delhi and founded on 27th august 1947 karan johar who is an actor paints a children's book named the big thoughts of little love and is inspiration for from his own experience as a parent and this book is published by jagranath books and karan johar released his autobiography titled an unsuitable boy in 2017 and the big thoughts of little love it is inspired from his own experience as a pa parent and the next news is indian astronomers discover one of the farthest star galaxies in the universe as a landmark achievement in space mission indian astronomer astronomers have discovered one of the far farthest star galaxies in the universe India's first multi-wavelength space observ observatory, AstroSat, has has detected extreme UV light from a galaxy which is located 9.3 million light years away from the Earth. And this galaxy is called AUDFS01, and it is discovered by the team of astronomers led by Dr. Kanak Shaha from Inter University Center for Astronomy and Astrophysics, which is in Pune. And the next news is Department of Fertilizers is observing Spetsetta pacuada from 1st to 15th September 2020. And all PSUs under the organization under the department are participating in the Spetsetta abhiyan in a big way. And Union Minister of Chemicals and Fertilizers Dr. D. V. Sadananda Gowda said in his tweet, Spetsetta pacuada ha has gained ever greater importance in this year. And and on behalf of uh, COVID nineteen pandemic situation, and the next news is Ladakh and Lakshadweep integrated in existing national probability cluster of one nation one ration card. Minister of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution, Sri Ram Vilas Paswan recently reviewed the progress of implementation of one nation one ration card plan. While taking note for uh, requisite technical readiness. For another two union territories, Ladakh and Lakshadweep approved the integration of these two uh, union territories with the existing national probability cluster of 24 states by union territories. And this is reviewed by the U U Minister of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution, Sri Ra Ram Vilas Paswan. And the next news is Vice Admiral S R Sama, A V S M, V S M assumes charges as Chief of Material, Indian Navy. and he is uh, becoming charge on he getting charge on 1st september 2020 the admiral is a post graduate in computer science and engineering from iisc bangalore and a distinguished alumni of naval higher command course as a flag officer the admiral has served as assistant chief of material it and systems in naval headquarters admiral superintendent of naval dockyard visakhapatnam and the next news is raksha mantri shri rajnath singh on official visit to russia from september 3 to 5 uh, at the invitation of defense minister of russian federation general shergai shoghu and to attend the combined meeting of defense ministers of shanghai cooperation organization and collectively security treaty organization and commonwealth independent states and member state in commemoration of 75th anniversary of victory in the world war 2 and yes that's it for today and maybe it it is useful for your competitive examination do follow our channel for more and more updates and thanks for watching